So God bless you all. I want to share with you today a very beautiful truth, but we do have to be willing to remember it. There is a wonderful prayer uh, which we say every, every week. And it's the prayer to the Holy Trinity. And it says, so it's about the Holy Spirit. Everywhere present, filling all things. Now, that is awesome. That is the truth of what God has created. And it's not simply about oxygen and the composition of the air, though there is an element of truth in that, but that the life-creating, life-giving Holy Spirit and love of God is everywhere present. But we need to remember it. I may have given you a gift and you've put it in your pocket or you've put it in a bag or you've put it in a drawer. And if you don't remember that gift, it's not for anything really, is it? And it's the same with what God has provided for us. If we do not, if we choose not to remember, if we choose not to turn to his help, then all the heaviness in our hearts, all the things that are weighing us down, are going to stay doing that. And even if we consider ourselves Christian, we may well simply be living by the law. And then when other people, you know, have a heaviness of heart, instead of encouraging them and praying for them, that the Holy Spirit may come and, and help them, we'll just tell them, I don't know, go and pray. Um, uh, you don't need to feel like that or whatever. We need to know God's love. You need to know God's love. I need to know God's love. I couldn't persevere with this without knowing God's love, God's care for us, God's desire to help us, to sustain us. This is the truth. We are truly little children in God's hands if we believe and trust and keep calling on the Holy Spirit and say, Father God, I'm feeling heavy of heart today. I, I'm not trusting you very well. Forgive me. I believe, help thou my lack of faith. I trust, help thou my lack of trust. And we call on the Holy Spirit. We breathe in the truth of God's life. And we breathe out all the lies. So let's get hold of that everywhere present. If we open our eyes to see through God's love, truly the miracle of a tree or grass or a child or an old person, anybody, we are all miracles. I think it's amazing. I mean, you know, we do a, a, a chemical analysis and truly we are made of dust. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? And we're all different. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. So let's remember today, and we're going to pray this, you know, for, when we pray for all the world. We are all made in the image of God. We have his DNA in us. But we need the Holy Spirit to give it life. The world, the flesh, and the devil has got in here. 
So we don't believe. We don't trust in that miracle of love that God is, that we are in him. So um, in my enthusiasm, uh, I just need to get this up. Right. Okay, so I'm going to share screen now. And I'd like to welcome uh, Maria, who's going to help us pray today. <clears throat> Maria, is it okay if you do the um, Lord's Prayer in Greek? Uh, yes, Marina. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present, filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every stain, and, O oh good one, save our souls. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Would you like to go from there in Greek? Doxa. Doxa Patri, Keio, Keio Pnevma. εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων, αμήν. Πάτερ ημών, ο εν της ουρανής, αγιαστήτω το όνομά σου, ελθέτω η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθήτω το θέλημά σου, ως εν ουρανό και επί της γης, τον άρτον ημών των επιούσιων, δώσε ημίν σήμερον, και άφες ημίν τα οφειλήματα ημών, ως και ημίς αφίαμεν τους οφειλέτες ημών, και μη εις εν έγγιση μας εις πειρασμόν, αλλά ρίσε ημάς από του πονηρού. Αμήν. Αμήν. And I'm going to do the, just the Lord's Prayer in, in the French. Notre Père qui es aux cieux, que ton nom soit sanctifié, que ton règne vienne, que ta volonté soit faite sur la terre comme au ciel. Donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain de ce jour, et pardonne-nous nos offenses, comme nous pardonnons aussi à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Et ne nous soumets pas à la tentation, mais délivre-nous du malin. And for those of us who um, have, would like to hear it in, in English, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. So we are praying as Jesus instructed us, encouraged us, when the disciples asked, how shall we pray? And he gave us the Lord's Prayer. But let's pray for specific people. We pray for ourselves, for all the women within the church, whatever, whatever it's called, all those who believe in Christ, and for women who have no faith or trust in God and yet seek the highest of their heart. And maybe those who do not know how to do that. Lord, we put them into this prayer too. So for all women and for men who are in the church and those who have no faith or trust in God, for all men, Lord, we are all made 
according to your word, with your image in us. So we pray, Lord, that every single man and woman throughout the world will be touched afresh by your Holy Spirit. We'll be given grace. We'll find repentance. We'll find, wow, truth. We'll find a, a voice within them that is leading them to love, to harmony, to beauty, that is challenging all the bitterness, all the unrepentance, all the unforgiveness, and encouraging them as we in our prayers now are encouraging through the Holy Spirit that all may give up bitterness, unforgiveness, blaming, shaming. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. And we pray for our families and for our communities, that all those who are bound together with some form of filial, parental responsibilities, whatever the community is for, if it's seeking for, for good, for hope, for blessing, Lord, may you build us by your Holy Spirit so that all of those in the community, whether just in, like a young child, or been there a long time and is serving and knowing how to, to, to do the, the, uh, the work of the community. Lord, I pray for every single member of a family or community to experience your Holy Spirit and to welcome it, to grow with it, and to know your love, building them, blessing them, enabling them to love and bless others within the community and through the community out to others. Lord, we need you. And we ask St. Siloan to join with our prayers as we pray for an infilling of the Holy Spirit and a welcoming heart, a welcoming mind to open to the Holy Spirit of love, truth, and graciousness. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. And we pray for our churches and the worldwide church and all those with leadership positions. Lord, forgive us. Forgive us. Please forgive us. We have failed to stand in your love. We've stuck with the law and the rules, but we haven't found your love, Lord. We haven't opened our hearts and minds to your Holy Spirit. So I pray again that we will all, every single one of us, whatever level within the church, but particularly the rulers, be aware of you standing at their heart door and knocking. May we all open our heart door to receive your Holy Spirit, to be challenged to that mystery of loving and blessing and forgiving and repenting and bearing the burdens of others, bearing the sins of others, with us forgiving too, because we're living and loving for you. Help us, Lord. Build us by your Holy Spirit. May we grow in repentance for our hardened hearts and our loveless lives. May we grow in grace, Lord, through opening our heart doors to you and your Holy Spirit, to your word, 
to your sanctification, to your purification, which feels painful. But Lord, may we be willing that you may be all in all in your church. From the smallest to the largest, may we be one on a holy highway of repentance and love, service and blessing. In all things, giving you the glory. In all things, being humble, holy, and speaking your word in truth, living your love in harmony. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy, mercy on us. On us. And we pray for our countries, their use of finances, at personal, personal and national level, <clears throat> and for all those in positions of leadership and authority. Lord, Jesus, you said that there are other sheepfolds that we know not of. So let us believe and trust that in every, every faith, in everyone who seeks to live beyond their human needs and greed, that everyone who lives to a higher vision in their heart is holding, is part of a sheepfold that belongs to you. And Lord, so we pray for every country, whatever their apparent uh, religious religion, whatever their bitterness and anger, whatever their self-protection is. Lord, we pray for a blessing and outpouring of your Holy Spirit. We pray for open hearts to seek to live for a greater good. I pray for a growth of vision in leaders, of love, of harmony, of humility before the greater good. And let it begin with us. Let it begin with Christian nations, Lord. Let us bend our knee and open our hearts to pray for those in authority. That they may be blessed with courage and grace and humility before God. And we pray, Lord, for a purification of all those who seek power in order to dominate and control where there is no love where there is no humility. Come, Holy Spirit, on the nations of this world. May they know, may they surrender, may they be changed by your purifying Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy, have mercy on, us. on us. And we pray for our enemies, those that have offended against us, those who do not stand in your word, even in the church. So at all levels, a personal, family, community, church or national level. And Lord, the only way we can truly pray for our enemies is to allow you to allow your Holy Spirit into all our enemies, our internal enemies, all our bitterness, all our self-righteousness, all our anger. Lord, may we pray for all those things within us. May we bless them because you say bless your enemies. And may we be willing to face our pain, disappointments, our personal animosity against ourselves, against others. 
Lord, may you be our Lord. May your Holy Spirit bring righteousness and love, gentleness, forgiveness, grace into all our hearts. So that if we see someone who is not acting well, we know that there but by the grace of God go we. And we can pray for them with a true heart, with a humble heart, and knowing only you, only by your Holy Spirit, can we be healed, forgiven, and saved. So that we become true vessels of your Holy Spirit, living in love divine, working and surrendered to the Father through your name, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. May we grow in love and obedience to your commandments. May your light shine ever more purely in our hearts that your grace sets us free to live to your praise and glory, standing for your light. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, may you build our faith, trust, hope, and love to your praise and glory. And dear souls, if you've if you watch to the end, if you've persevered, I just pray if you are, are find some hope in this, that you pass it on to other um other Christian women or other women who you feel may be willing to give up about 25 minutes of their time to pray for the world, for us and for the world. And, you know, our joy is in knowing that we do God's will. And this was an instruction to me well, about 18 months ago now. So, to God be the glory for giving me the grace to persevere. And for some of you who were praying for this from the very outset. So, let's see if we can make it a bigger wave and really enable people to join in and share. I know it's in English, but there's a lot of English speaking countries and a lot of English speaking people in other countries. So let's see if we can extend this wave of prayer for the world in Jesus' name. So God bless you. I'm going to stop the recording now. God bless. <laughs>